We begin this morning with more history unfolding in Washington. For just the third time in this nation's history, the House of Representatives will vote on whether to impeach a president. Next week's decision follows Friday's fiercely divided party line vote by the House Judiciary Committee approving two articles of impeachment against President Trump. The president fired back at Democrats, insisting he has done nothing wrong. He called the hearings a hoax and a sham and claimed the tool of impeachment is being misused. Paula Reed is at the White House with more. Paula, good morning. Good morning, Dana. Those articles of impeachment will head to the full House next week for a vote and then onto a likely Senate trial. And CBS News has learned that the president's top lawyer and his top legislative aide will continue to meet with Republican senators this week to figure out what exactly that trial should look like. They're trying to balance the president's desire for a big show with the GOP leadership theory that when it comes to the president's defense, less is more. Following Thursday's 14 hours of acrimonious debate, the House Judiciary Committee on Friday sent two articles of impeachment to the full House with a vote scheduled for next week. Mr. Chairman, there are 23 ayes and 17 noes. Your article is agreed to. The partisan rancor continued after the vote. I have a tremendous amount of faith in the American people, and I would just say look past the Republicans' obstruction and lies. For Democrats, impeachment is their drug. It is their obsession. It's a scam. And President Trump unloaded in a White House photo op with the leader of Paraguay. You're trivializing impeachment, and I tell you what, someday there'll be a Democrat president and there'll be a Republican House and I suspect they're going to remember it. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, who has rankled Democrats by coordinating with the White House over a likely Senate trial, insists the president will not be removed from office and says he wants this done quickly. In the House, the only thing bipartisan may be the opposition to the two articles of impeachment. Nevertheless, we will have an impeachment trial. Just before the Judiciary Committee vote, Mr. Trump's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, was seen entering the White House, where he stayed for two hours. Giuliani told CBS News that he would be willing to participate in a Senate trial, adding, if they want a lesson in cross-examination, they should have me do it. Giuliani says that he communicates with the president constantly, despite the fact that he is at the center of the events that led to impeachment, and he's currently under investigation by the Trump Justice Department. Now, Giuliani insists he did not break any laws, and while he is not expected to be part of a Senate trial, he says he would participate if asked. Michelle? All right, Paula, thank you.